welcome back to the channel. To those who are new, hi, hello, my name is Paula, and here in this channel, we talk all about perfumes. To my returning viewers and subscribers and my regulars, my new subscribers, thank you so much for the continued love and support. Today is just a chill video. I'm here in my sofa and I will be doing an unboxing and first impressions. But before you continue with today's video, I encourage you guys to watch Charlotte Bross's video because I'm gonna put a card up above and a link down below because her video, that specific video, if you guys haven't noticed by now, I'm a weird person, so I do love the weird things. And um, when the way she described this fragrance, I was just like, you know, I have to have this fragrance and I have to smell it. So when I watched the video, when she talked about this particular fragrance, I paused her video, went to the website, her local website, and I purchased this fragrance right away and sent her a DM. Please watch that video before you continue with today's video or maybe after this video, but yes. I don't know, this can go, you know, either way, this can be just like a blind buy fail and it could be a blind buy, you know, success. It could be a good or like a perfect scent for me. But if I tell you the reason why I bought this fragrance, you guys would be like, why? Anyway, as I said, I'm not sure if this is like the perfect time for me to do this because just this morning today is what what time is it it's 5 45 p.m i just got out of bed like 2 p.m because i just had the worst migraine episode i've had for i don't know when the last time i've had this worst kind of an episode was i think in january I did notice that i've had three episodes now for the past three months um, the last time I had an episode was 2019, I think, and I was studying for an exam. I guess I was just super stressed that, you know, I, it was just like the worst. And today, this morning when I woke up at around 9 a.m., I just couldn't get out of bed. My, my left eye hurt, my, the left side of my face, just this was just so painful, I couldn't get out of bed. And um, so I just took a couple of painkillers and, you know, just decided to rest. So 2 p.m. I woke up, decided to do my usual chores, laundry and all of that. Never waited so long to open a perfume or a bottle. The last time I think that I did uh, an unboxing and first impressions was in August or July. So I think I received like three hauls and I did first impressions and unboxings. And I've never, I never did that again ever since because you know I just can't wait. I receive a package, I open it, I smell it. But for this particular fragrance, I had to wait. That was a very long, grueling process, two or three days of waiting. But today, I am just super excited to try this. I'm feeling better. And what a way to treat a migraine than with a surprise scent. But before I proceed with today's video, I have, I do have, this is gonna be a very long introduction. I'm just gonna share with you guys my scent of the day. So I am wearing Desert Fleur by Bohemian Revs. So I bought this fragrance because of Chris or the Perfume Nest and Melissa Jean. So this, I think, if there is like an earth scent, if you're feeling like you need to ground yourself and reconnect, realign with your earth like element, this would be the scent for that because this is, as Chris said, vanilla and patchouli and you really do get that a lot in here. So. I really, really like this. So this was, I think, $35, $39. I'm not so sure. $39, I think. And this is a 50 ml. So this is, again, my scent of the day, Desert Fleur by Bohemian Revs. So let us proceed with today's video. This is a very long introduction. So the scent that Charlotte Ross was talking about in her video, which she called her horror story perfume. This is from the house of Elizabeth Arden, and this is red door revealed so we see elizabeth arden red door revealed i do love elizabeth arden fragrances i love the green tea line and the white tea and i've been so curious trying the red door as well and a lot of others because they are very you know affordable so when i saw charlotte's video and remember that we have this in our website i ordered it right away so i have a hundred mil so this is I don't know if this was a right decision, but this was the only size that we had and it was very affordable. So I'm going to be opening this box. So you see this is sealed. So I know some of you find it really irritating when someone opens a box. So if you're not into like ASMR, ASMR so you know, whatever. So I'm going to open this. I'm not sure. 
I don't know what I'm getting myself into, so I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, some floral or some perfume smells like poop. You know, I've been mentioning that poopy jasmine, poopy florals. You know, I go for it. Or if someone tells me that something smells like, you know, barf, I think I would probably buy it as well. So when she mentioned that it smelled like farts and bad breath i mean it's so specific you know a bad breath yes i do get it you know because a some indolic florals can give you that bad breath kind of smell and i do hear that in a lot of um perfume reviews as well but farts that's a very specific smell so what kind of fart though so you know anyway this is the bottle it's really cute actually i mean it's a pink um, bottle the pink cap it's plastic you know what you can you what you can expect so it, it has here written elizabeth arden and then red door on the other side and then you have the revealed here so when you look at the bottle the aesthetic of the bottle how it looks like you know it you would expect this one to be like a floral i don't know like when i look at the bottle it'd be like a floral something vintagey smelling because of how the bottle looks i don't really know when this was released so i think i should um do a little bit of research so this one based on fragrantica this was released in 2003 so it's not really that vintagey but then you think about it that's like 17 you know 17 18 years 18 years ago oh my gosh okay so the top notes are Pink peony, green orchid, and pear, fruity. Middle notes are Bulgarian ro Bulgarian rose. I can't talk. Lily, plum, tiara flower, yellow champaka, and orange blossom. So far, they sound really good. Base notes are musk, guayaquid, oak moss, and black amber. So based on the note composition, I don't see any farts and bad breath. Not really. Orchid, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so this was released 2003. Not really a very old fragrance. So I'm just maybe going to read a couple of reviews. One mentioned, this is a pink floral scent. It smells adult, but not too mature. She's 22 years old and she loves it. Okay. And the next one, promising note pyramid, gorgeous bottle. She was expecting a pretty pink perfume, you know, as you would expect as well from the bottle. But, um... There's something off and rancid about it. Okay. Um, and somebody also mentioned that something about this perfume doesn't work in my body chemistry. So I think that's enough reviews for now. I don't really know why I'm doing this. Okay, so <sighs> we're going to spray it. I, I hope you guys can smell this with me. But I don't smell anything from the nozzle. Nothing at all. So I'm going to spray it, I think, first in this um, carton. It doesn't have any smell on it. So I'm going to spray it here first. Oh, that's a lot. Oh my god, this is so exciting. So far, I get something powdery. Powdery floral. It smells like, you know, um, lotion, deodorant, that kind of smell. I don't know wait a minute okay so i'm not gonna let the farts and bad breath you know kind of like brainwash or give that suggested um image or smell but um okay in the air you do get that floral powdery fresh like straight out of the shower as i said you know like lotion deodorant soap that kind of scent and here i don't get it it's very perfumey. I do get like a very perfumey smell to it. On paper, this one smells really good. Yeah, it's like something you would expect from like a bottle looking like this. So it's not really the brightest of scents. It's not the freshest pink florals, but you do get the pink florals in here. I do definitely get um, orange blossom in here. That powdery floral. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to test it on my skin. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, so this is not, you know, a horror story yet. So I'm going to spray it on my skin. I don't have anything. So I'm going to spray it on my skin. That's a lot. Not bad. I still get the... Ooh. 
something was there. I don't know what it was, but I do get still orange blossom powdery floral. I so far so good, you guys. This I just get pink florals in here, that fresh pear. So plum, not really. I don't really get it a lot. And I think in the deep dry down. As this one is drying down, I do get that black amber. So I do have a love-hate relationship when it comes to amber and anything synthetic like amber, ambergris, or like what Tim or Smelly Sweet mentioned in one of his videos. Um, it's also sometimes called ambra. So that can be a hit or miss for me. It can work for me, something, but if it's like too synthetic, like synthetic ambergris, of course, you know, ambergris is just going to be synthetic in perfumes. But I do notice that, you know, some, I have a couple that has, you know, um, that ambergris, amber note. Um, it, it doesn't really work for me. One had black amber, I think, and the other one had ambergris. Very similar scents, but I, it, it bothers me. This one, I don't, oh, I think this is a scent that, you know, you really have to wait for the dry down. So I sprayed it. I think maybe it's been, what, I don't know, a minute or so. So I'm just going to wait for just it. Wait for it. I'm going to smell the paper again or the cardboard. It still smells really nice on paper, actually. So I'm actually very, very happy with this one. That it doesn't smell like farts and bad breath. But still kind of disappointed because I was expecting farts and bad breath. I don't know why. So... It would be really, you know, still on paper. It's been, what, a couple minutes or so? Still smells the same. You know, pink floral, peony, orange blossom is the very prominent um, note that I get in here. Not really a lot of the guaiac wood. Oak moss, not really prominent as well. I do know that there are a number of perfumes that I've tried in the fragrance department that when you smell the nozzle, it smells like bad breath. And I think, you know, jasmine can do that. It can be very indolic that it smells just like how it is. Farts, though. Smells like farts. <sighs> when we say farts, okay, what? It can smell like rotten eggs. Smell like sulfur. That's how, you know, like a healthy fart would smell like. If you guys are disgusted, you can just leave the video right now because I'm going to be talking about disgusting things today. So, okay. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Mm hmm mm hmm It's been what? Three, four minutes? Mm. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. It's not... It doesn't smell like farts, but I do get a little bit of bad breath in there. Oh my god! Okay, I take it back. This isn't really a very... It is a nice scent. Okay, my eyes are watering. It is a nice scent in the beginning. Okay, so it's fresh, floral, pink, clean, powdery, floral, orange blossom, as I mentioned. You get a little bit of pear in there. But, you know, as I was talking and really thinking, you know, it's a nice scent, you know, it's very, very nice. But, note the double chin. Yeah, there is something really off in this fragrance. I don't know. It's weird though, because you know it's there. Like when, you, when I put my nose into it, I don't get it. But when I move my hands, I get it, you know, like, like, yeah, it's more bad breath than it is farts. So, so interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Charlotte, I don't know what it is, girl. You can sell me anything. You just said farts and bad breath, and I just went ahead and bought it. And I know it was just for fun, but... Seriously, I get most of it when I just move it around. Like when someone's talking to you and they don't know that they have bad breath, you know, like. That's what you get. And I have a huge 100 ml of it. So what am I going to do with this now? I will keep on testing it. I will keep on trying it. So 
I don't know. I knew what I went into when I decided to buy this and um, I was just so intrigued, you know, like when I said, when, when you tell me something smells really off, I don't know, if you tell me something smells like socks or feet or something smells like poop or this one, bad breath, I'm going to try it. So, um, and I got it. So, yeah. And I'm going to stop smelling that. I'm going to spray <clears throat> my vanilla patchouli over it. So I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to wash this off. But yeah, this is farts and bad breaths, you guys. More bad breaths than it is farts for me. So um, this is a red door revealed by Elizabeth Arden. So after this video, I'm going to send Charlotte a DM. Tell her what I feel about it and tell her that, you know, this is going to remain in the box for I don't know how long. I'm going to test this one maybe after a week, after a couple of days, see if I still smell that. If I still smell that smell. So yeah, I got what I wanted. So if you guys have tried this fragrance, Red Door Revealed, please let me know what you think about it because I do have or I have read mixed reviews on Fragrantica. Some people tried it on warmer weather. Of course, I'm still going to try to test this out. So if you guys have tried this fragrance, have had an experience with it, maybe tried an older version of it, please let me know down in the comment section. And since we are talking about weird scents and weird smells, let me know down in the comment section any perfume that you have tried before, or any perfume that you have sampled that smells like, you know what I mean, smells like poop, smells like pee, or smells like what I said, like dirty socks or something, something really off and disgusting, please let me know down in the comment section. I'm just, I'm not here to, you know, like drag this fragrance down, but I had to be honest, I really wanted to try this because of Charlotte's horror story and I just had to test it out myself. That is it for today's video. This is a surprise video. I, I know I mass filmed five videos, good for a couple of weeks of um, content, but I'm gonna be adding this video in between because you know, I just had to. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I, again, I recommend you guys to watch Charlotte Ross's video, her horror story, fragrance video and um you can see this fragrance right there and yes once again like this video if you enjoyed it i don't know and leave some comments down in the comment section below again if you have tried any weird smelling perfumes let me know down in the comment section and maybe i'm gonna try them as well well thank you so much for watching you guys have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one So it's been two hours since I filmed my video. I decided to spray very liberally on my right arm, try to, you know, smell the scent more. Um, here it is. Um, yeah, it's smelled very nice actually for the first 15, 20 minutes. Um, that very fruity floral, pink floral. It even reminded me of Stella McCartney's Stella EDT for the first, you know, 20 minutes. And if only it stayed that, you know, pink floral throughout the whole scent, this for sure would be a keeper in my collection. But I don't know, just something happens in the deep dry down of the scent because it then transforms into an entirely different scent. It for like suddenly all the florals are gone and you really get that very, very strong, like, yeah indolic bad breath kind of smell so i i don't know i already cleaned my arm i already washed it off with soap and water and i can still smell it so yeah i got what i wanted from this fragrance i got what i expected so yeah